Descartes' rule of sign. So, Descartes' rule of sign, this is used to determine the number of positive and negative real roots. So, to determine the positive real roots, count, you are going to count the variation of sign of the given polynomials. When you say variation of sign, kung ilang beses siya nag-iba. To positive, naging negative. To negative, naging positive. Okay? So, to determine the negative real roots, you are going to count the variation of signs of P of negative X of the given. So, we are going to change the Xs into negative X for us to find the um, negative real roots of the given variation. So, let us have an example. Okay, for positive, we have find the number of positive and negative roots of x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. So, for positive tayo, count nyo lang kung ilang beses nag, um, ilang beses siya nag-change ng sign. So, ito positive to positive, positive, positive to positive, positive pa rin. So, positive to negative, ayan, nag-change siya. Ilang beses? 1. So, yung positive natin is, ang positive natin ay isa lang. Ayan. Next tayo, let us have the negative. 4 negative. 4 negative. So, for us to have the negative, we are going to solve for P of negative X. Ni X cubed plus 5X squared plus 2X minus 8. Ayan. Meaning, yung x natin, gagawin natin negative x. So, lahat ng x, negative x raised to 3 plus 5 times negative x squared plus 2 times negative x, then minus 8. Ayan. So, we have here, negative x raised to 3, since ito ay add numbers, negative pa rin siya. So, ito magiging negative x, x cubed. Then, this one, negative x, so since ito ay even, positive na siya. So, that is plus 5x squared. So, this one is magigitong positive times negative, negative x. Then, minus 8. Let's count the number of variation. Negative to positive, isa. Positive to negative, isa pa ulit. So, negative to negative, hindi na nagbago. So, we have 1, then two changes tayo. So, therefore, the negative the negative roots here is dalawa. Ibig sabihin, isa ay positive ang sagot, then ang dalawa naman is negative. So, we have three roots. Kasi, meron tayong raised to three. Is it clear? That is, how will you find the number of positive and negative roots of the given polynomial equation. Let us have another example. Example number 2. We have find the number of positive and negative roots of 2x raised to 4 plus 5x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals to 0. Okay, let us count the number of variation of the sign. Positive to positive, Wala. Positive to negative, isa. Then, negative to negative, wala. Then, negative to positive, nagbago ulit, isa. Therefore, the positive numbers, we have two positive. Positive roots. Ayan. Next tayo, four negative naman. Four negative. So, we have here P of negative X ulit nung ating given is equals to 2X raised to 4 plus 5X cubed minus 2X squared minus 4X plus 5 is equals to 0. So, change all X's to negative. 2 times negative X raised to 4 plus 5 times negative X raised to 3 minus 2 times negative x raised to 2 minus 4 times negative x then plus 5. Then, sorry, wala nang equal to 0 kasi naka-equate na siya dito. So, we have here 2. Since ito ay even, positive to. So, that is 2x raised to 4. Ito ay add magiging negative times positive. That is negative 5x cubed. Ito ay even, so magigitong positive. Positive times negative, negative. 2x squared. 
Ito ay dalawang negative. It becomes positive. That is 4x. Then, plus 5. Let us count the number of variation. Positive to negative, isa. Negative to negative, hindi nagbago. Negative to positive, isa. Positive to positive, hindi ulit nagbago. So, therefore, isa, dalawa. So, we have two negative roots. Okay? So, ang sagot natin, meron dalawang positive roots, meron dalawang negative roots. That is equal into 4 four roots. Diba? We have 4 roots. We have, is it equal to 4 real roots? Ayan. Tama siya, 4 real roots. Kasi raised to 4. Okay? Let us have another example. Next one, we have x cubed minus 8 equals 0. Let us have the poor positive. Let us count the variation. Positive to negative, we have 1. Therefore, we have 1 positive roots. Ayan. Pa 1 positive real roots. Next, tayo, 4 negative. 4 negative tayo. So, we have here x cubed uh, p of negative x is equal to ang x natin magiging siyang negative x raised to 3 minus 8. Ayan. Then, since ito ay add negative pa rin. Negative a x cubed minus 8. So, as you can see, walang nabago sa kanya. Walang variation. So, therefore, we have 0 negative. 0, negative. So, ilan ang real roots natin? So, ang real roots ng natin ay isa. 1 positive real roots lang. 1 positive real roots only. Real roots only. Ayan. Or 1 real root. 1 real root only. 1 real root. Ayan. Ma'am, bakit 1 lang? E 3 to. Meaning, yung dalawang natira, yung dalawang natira is imaginary number. So, yung 2, dalawang natira, kasi 3 to eh. So, kailangan yung kanyang sagot ay tatlo. Since real roots lang inahanap natin, 1 lang. Ito lang yung lumabas. So, yung dalawa, while the other 2, other 2 roots are imaginary numbers. Is it clear? So, that's the answer. So, yung dalawang natira is imaginary numbers. Number 4. So, find the number of positive and negative roots of x raised to 4 plus 11x minus 5 equals to 0. So, let us count the number of variation. Positive to positive, walang nagbago. Positive to negative, merong isa. Therefore, we have 1 positive real roots tayo. 1 positive real roots. Yan. May isa. Next tayo, 4 negative. So, dapat makakapat tayo. Ah. 4 negative. So, we have here um, P of negative X. Ang given natin ay yes, X raised to 4 plus 11X minus 5 equal, uh, wag na nala ng 0. Then, we have here negative X raised to 4 plus 11 times negative x ulit, minus 5. So, this one is even, kaya positive na siya, x raised to 4. This one is negative 11x, then minus 5. So, therefore, eto, positive to negative may isa. So, therefore, 1 negative real roots pa. Real roots. So, ilan, ilan lahat ang real roots natin? So, isa, dalawa. So, we have two real roots. Two real roots. While, yung dalawang nawawala, the other two, the other two roots is imaginary numbers. Okay. So, kung ang hinahanap lang ay total number of real roots, ito lang ang ating magiging sagot. Is it clear? So, add mo lang yung positive real roots at saka yung negative real roots. 
Let us have last example. We have 10x raised to 5 minus 15x raised to 4 plus 12x cubed minus 18x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. Let us have the number of variation. Positive to negative, isa. Negative to positive, isa pa. Um, positive to negative, isa. Negative to positive, isa. Then, positive to negative, we have 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have past 5 positive real roots. Okay na yan. 5 positive real roots. So, wala na tayong negative. Why wala nang negative? Kasi hanggang 5th term lang naman tayo. Meaning, pag ikaw ay nag-change dito, uh, lahat ng sign uh, lahat ng sign niya pare-parehas tingnan natin p of negative x tingnan niyo ah so 10x raised to 5 minus 15x raised to 4 plus 12x cubed minus 18x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals to 0 let us change so we have 10 times negative x raised to 5 minus next we have Negative 15 times negative x raised to 4 plus 12 times negative x raised to 3 minus 18 times negative x raised to 2 plus as uh, 2 times negative x minus 3. Tingnan nyo ha? So, this one is even. So, negative pa rin yan. Negative 10 x raised to 5. So, ito magiging positive and negative pa rin yun. Negative 15 x raised to 4 ito ay magiging negative times positive, magiging negative 12x raised to 3. Then, this one is positive, magiging negative pa rin. Negative 18x squared. Then, this one becomes negative 2x minus 3. As you can see, lahat sila negative. So, therefore, there is no variation. We have 0 negative real roots. Is it clear? So, that is it. So, that is how will you find the numbers of positive and negative real roots. So, 0 plus 5. So, we have 5 real roots. Okay? Okay. So, hope you understand the Descartes rule on how to find the number of positive and negative real roots. Okay. Thank you.